Annyeong haseyo! Curious about the Philippines and Korea? Our podcast is for you! Annyeong kwento mo! It's a podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Hosted by Lloyd and Jazz, be amazed and inspired with different stories yet to unfold. Listen to our podcast only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. podcast where we will talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Do you have a story to share? Well then, here is Annyeong Kwento Mo, Chef Sharwin. Annyeong, I'm Lloyd. Annyeong, I'm Jazz. And today we are back again with another episode this week for our podcast along with a very special guest. Yes, Lloyd, as I said no pilot episode natin, all of our episodes, special naman siya. I would like to know, uh, For this episode, since we're going to talk about food, what are your thoughts specifically on Korean and Filipino cuisine? Nako, Jazz. Alam mo, pag-uusapan talaga ng pagkain. Grabe. As in, parang dun lang ako very active. <laughs> Kasi bukod sa mahilig ako kumain, iba din talaga yung nabibigay sa akin, ng, iba din yung happiness na nabibigay sa akin ng, ng food. And so, I, I am very excited for this episode. And ayun nga, since I myself is a big foodie and of course also consumes a lot of Korean cuisine. And syempre, alam mo yun, hindi ako magpapahuli sa mga any kinds of Korean cuisine such as ang pinaka-famous ngayon na Samgyupsal. Uh, yeah, I would agree yung Samgyupsal. But I would like to specifically know your thoughts on yung first time mo mag-try any uh, Korean food. Maybe uh, out with friends or yun nga, yung Samgyupsal. Do you remember yung first time na nag ka? Time. Uh, well, actually, the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the first time I had some gipsal was, I guess, uh, last two years ago. Kasi naalala ko nung time na yun, there's a parang bagyo in the Philippines. Pero alam mo yung kakapasok pa lang ng bagyo. So it's not that super lala talaga na, na bagyo. Pero alam mo yun, since, since uh, di ba, nagkamayon tayo ng pandemic and and for the longest time na, alam mo yun, na-lockdown tayo, parang we, we were very eager to see our friends, di ba? Kahit man lang for an hour. So, ayun, noong time yun, we had no, no choice. Pero, uh, to, to, to push pa din yung pagkikita namin. And, you know, despite na merong bagyo, sumug talaga kami para lang mag-sumgyup. And, you know, in terms of the experience naman, grabe talaga. I mean, I'm super amazed with the concept ng sumgyup sal. Kasi, di ba, here in the Philippines, it's not that common or usual for for the Filipinos or for the the customers to cook yung mga food nila di ba kasi usually um sa menu order lang tayo and then uh, we will just wait for a few minutes and then yes. is serve na yung food di ba pero with some gipsal it's a different experience and i guess yun yung nagustuhan ko especially pa kapag kasama mo yung mga friends mo and loved ones di ba doing or eating some gipsal ikaw ba just <laughs> anything for food no kahit na bagyo uh, ako naman i could not remember the exact moment but Uh, this type of food is uh, masasabi kong yung go-to meal. Of, of course, hindi healthy na gawin mo siya everyday kasi yeah. mamaya baka naman ma-high blood. Uh, siguro if pwede lang sa chicken or yung seafood, mas may ma- enjoy ko yung uh, experience ko. Of course, kasi Korean food, uh, of course, Filipino din, hindi mawawala yung chicken or uh, fish or seafood. Uh, yun lang. If pwede ako, ma- I would say na nasta enjoy ko yung experience. Uh, I'm into yung hot pot since tinatawag nilang uh, shabu-shabu. Ganun din. Same concept with some gipsal. Uh, difference is hindi siya ihaw but more on uh, uh, soup. soup. Oh, ikaw maglalagay nung uh, fishball, nung gulay. And recently then uh, Naka, tinikma ko na yung kimchi. Though, dati talaga siya ko hindi. Hindi ako kakain yan. 
Masarap. Yung ano ako ng mga kapatid ko, bakit? Ang sarap kaya. Sabi ko, sige, tatay na natin. And masarap din siya. Yan, yeah, masarap siya. For a side dish, di ba? Mm, But anyway, uh, since we, we talk about na, you know, our favorites with regards to the, the Korean cuisine, pero how about naman sa Filipino food, Jess? Uh, same thing. I'm more on pork, beef. Kasi nga, I, I said kanina, bawal ako sa chicken. Yeah. Uh, Sadly, yung daing, uh, favorite ko siya dati, but of course, right now, uh, it's a no, mga mati tayo dyan. Uh, street food, not really, dati, quick, quick, and again, it's chicken, egg, uh, hindi pwede. So, that's the sad part of being a foodie na may allergy. So, ayun, ikaw, Lloyd. Well, with regards to the Filipino food, my favorite has always been bulakalo talaga. Grabe talaga, hands down. <laughs> But you know, because yeah. grabe with, with bulalo, I think I could eat it all day. Kaso, you know, baka naman tumaas yung blood pressure. High natin. blood. <laughs> High blood, di ba? So, uh, okay din, you know, from time to time, di ba? Nakakain din natin yung mga favorite natin. And aside aside from that, uh, very love ko din talaga ang sinigang na hipon. And you know, wow. uh, with regards to the street food, grabe, quick, quick talaga. Quick, I think quick, no. that's one of the best Na, na street food that we have here in our country. Mm, that's a, a quick, quick must try na mga dadayo sa Pilipinas. Uh, now, enough of us talking about our food experience and thoughts. Uh, why you not introduce kung sino ba tong kasama natin for today's yes. episode? Yes. So, you know, uh, for our dear listeners who are tuning in right now, our guest for today's episode is a chef, television host, newspaper columnist and author. He is the host of Let's Do Lunch, a cooking talk show which played on GMA News TV. He was also the host of the groundbreaking cooking and travel show Curiosity Got the Chef and web shows like Not Safe for the Hungry and Straight Guy K-Drama Reviews. He has become known for his quirky and innovative twists on traditional Filipino and Chinese Filipino cuisine. Graduated with school honors from the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts in Vancouver, Canada, and has cooked at the prestigious Tower Club in Makati City, Philippines. Please welcome on the show, Chef Sharwin T. Hello, Hello Chef. Po. Hello. Welcome to our podcast. Thank you for having me. Yes, welcome to um, Anyong Kwento Mo Podcast, Chef. Thank you for accepting our invitation talaga, you know, despite Um, today being a holy week, grabe. Salamat po talaga for you, po. you know accepting our invitation. Ako, walang ano man. <laughs> so, kamusta naman po kayo ngayon, Chef? How's life naman po? Ah, uh, okay naman. Uh, you know, uh, finally uh, getting to um, I would say uh, relax a little bit. Uh, you know, medyo makareflect man lang ng konte no uh, this holy week. Uh, Shempre balik trabaho na tayo in a few days time. Mm. Yes, I can relate to that because even <laughs> kami, diba, right now po kasi, uh, we we are having our internship then. So, nakarelate kami sa mga doon sa so nakarelax relax ng konte, you know. <laughs> kasi you know, with, with all the the OGT stuff na kailangan namin gawin and also here in the company. So, alam mo yun, parang kahit pa paano nakahinga-hinga din ng konte at nakapag uh, nagkamaran din siguro kami ng time, you know, na makapag-contemplate and reflect then during this uh, holy week. So thank you po talaga uh, chef for accepting our invitation to this ano po yes, this podcast. Thank you. thank you so much po. You're very yeah. welcome. So I guess uh, now is the time to start our podcast. Kasi for sure naka-ready na ang ating listeners with our very special guest for today's episode Chef Sharwin. So before anything else chef, uh, we would like to know what is your life before becoming Chef Sharwin? Uh well You know, I was I was like uh, any other kid, except na mahilig ako sa two things, no, food and TV. Uh, so even as a young kid, um, major introvert kasi ako, so hindi ako mahilig lumabas. Um, and pili talaga yung kaibigan ko. So you know, I have very few friends, pero you know, yung tipong ride or die talaga. Um, super close kami pero kaunti lang kami. So I would spend most of my time as a kid na nanonood ng TV or uh, kumakain. Um, so doon nagsimula yung ano ko, yung yung love ko for food, no, watching it on TV uh, and then syempre trying it uh, outside. So 
yun, yung um, sa pagpapanood ng mga cooking shows, doon ko na parang na-discover na parang gusto kong gawin yung career to. Uh, which was medyo strange at that time. Nung bata ako, parang hindi pa uso yung pagiging chef. Uh, ang tingin ng tao kasi sa chef dati is like blue collar blue collar work yung pag wala ka na ibang mahanap na trabaho uh, mag chef ka na lang parang ganun so medyo kakaiba yung fact na ako first choice ko yun yung maging chef so doon nagsimula so kasalanan ng TV to lahat <laughs> <laughs> pero since you mentioned na rin po like yung background mo na uh, nag start yung yung curiosity mo na maging chef through TV pero is there a specific person po na na or show po like or show na naging like nagmotivate sa and nag-inspire sa na ito na yun i want to be a chef this is it this yes is it. um so kailangan niyo to i-google or hanapin Sige. sa YouTube kasi uh, matanda na siya well matanda na rin ako uh, ang title <laughs> ng show is walk with yan so uh, oh, the host yeah. is Stephen Yan no so uh, most people would remember si Martin yan yung yan can cook pero actually there was another yan na unrelated oh. si Stephen yan yun yung um, unang cooking show na talagang nag parang napatigil ako no kasi um, parang na na daanan lang siya sa TV ng nanay ko eh naglalaro lang ako noon um, and then yun nakita ko siya and then parang hindi ko na alam mo yun, hindi ko na siya ma maiwan oh. uh, so for those na hindi familiar with this show, the closest I can tell you is like he's like a Chinese version of Poi Logro. Um, so, uh, kaya magaan ng loob ko kay Chef Boy eh, kasi um, he reminds me so much of of si Stephen Yan. No? So, nagkukok siya live before a studio audience. Uh, mahilig siya magpatawa. Um, marami siyang mga uh, stunts na ginagawa with this knife. Um, oh. And parang sa akin nung nakita ko yun sabi ko parang kasi tandaan nyo sa TV even now no um, pag gusto mo ma-TV kailangan either guwapo o maganda ka uh, magaling ka komanta o magaling ka sumayaw yeah. eto you know he was ordinary looking hindi naman siya kumakanta hindi rin siya sumasayaw nagluluto lang siya and nakuha niya yung ano nung audience no like parang uh, yung audience sobrang mesmerized sa kanya yung parang wala naman siyang ginagawa nagluluto lang siya nagluluto <laughs> yeah, lang siya tapos napapatawa siya so for me parang sobrang curious yun na parang ganun pala yun kahit na uh, nagluluto ka lang kaya mo parang makuha yung attention nung, nung audience so, so dun talaga nagsimula yung ano ko yung fascination ko sa pagluluto uh, so initially as a kid hindi ko pa naiintindihan na yung pagiging chef at saka yung pagiging uh, TV host completely different no akala ko pareho lang yun so malaking pagkakamali yun and lagi kong winang warning yun sa mga bata na yung nakikita mo sa TV yun yung glamour side ng pagluluto ng ng pagiging chef no pero once totoo na yung trabaho mo as a chef uh, walang glamour doon talagang pukpukan lang yun iyakan and uh, sigawan no so uh, iba iba pala yung trabaho but that show, yun yung talagang nag-inspire sa akin na pumasok into this world. Oh, thanks po pala sa mami nyo na daanan lang po. <laughs> Oo oh, eh. Super thanks uh, po kay mami. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Because of that. Chef Sherwin today. Oh. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Yeah, diba? uh, with that po, uh, Chef, we also saw that you are managing your own uh, YouTube channel po. And uh, with, you mentioned niyo po na you only had a few friends May we know the reason why you decided to start a YouTube channel? So actually, kung kung um, pinag-aralan talaga yung YouTube channel ko, realize na tao na matagal na ako may YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pero the reason why is um, dati uh, requirement lang siya kasi um, sumali ako dun sa contest no, sa Lifestyle Network. Um, which, you know, uh, when I won that, that led to yung TV show ko no? um, so yun yung prize uh, but for you to join the contest kailangan mo mag-upload ng audition video, video. Oh, yeah. ah, okay. so that's the only reason why I can create a YouTube channel no? um, 
and this was like uh, over uh, siguro 12 years ago uh, 13 years ago parang ganun so for the longest time isa lang yung video ko doon ginawa ko lang yun para makasali lang ako sa contest <laughs> um, but uh, over the years parang naisip ko gusto kong you know, hindi naman yung 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 TV kasi hindi naman yan forever. Yeah. Um, I'm very lucky na you know I've been a TV host for ten years. No, that doesn't always happen um, to everyone. So parang na isip ko dapat dagyang ko na ng konting videos yung YouTube channel ko. Pero yun nga eh, parang nasana ako na may may crew, may alam mo yun na nasana ako sa trabaho sa TV. So hindi ako nasana na magshoot ng sarili ko, gumawa ng vlogs. Um, so only recently naging mas uh, mas regular ako mag-post nagsimula siya nung pandemic kasi na-realize ko na maraming gusto matutup magluto sa bahay and uh, yung nung multiple yung mga ECQ mga quarantine, hindi naman makalabas yung mga tao so naisip ko to start doing some recipes uh, na kayang gawin sa bahay gamit yung kung ano lang mahanap sa, sa bahay uh, and then afterwards, ako rin dahil for the first time in 10 years, yung pandemic forced me to stay home and do nothing. Um, wala, walang trabaho kasi syempre, uh, closed yung mga restaurants. Um, so yung, hindi naman ako makapag-consult ng restaurants dahil sarado naman lahat. And di rin kami makashoot dahil uh, bawal rin mag, uh, mag-shoot yung time na yun. Um, so na- finally, nagka-time ako manood ng K-drama. And that's when I started to see na parang, alam nyo, wala pang show ng about K-dramas, you know, reviewing K-dramas from a guy's perspective. No, kasi laging, ang, before, pre-pandemic, um, ang nanonood lang naman ng K-dramas are those na mahilig sa mga rom-coms, yes. uh, which mostly, sadly, are... Um, you know, n- not including uh, straight guys. So, nung nag-start yung pandemic, napansin ko may mga, you know, may mga straight guys finally nagpo-post sila sa Facebook. Pero parang nahihiya sila, no? Sabi nila, ah, napilitan lang kasi ako manood. Pero not bad naman tong show na. Alam mo yung parang hindi nila matanggap na nanood sila ng K-drama. Para sa akin, bakit kayo nahihiya na nanood kayo ng K-drama? Okay lang naman, di ba? So, gumawa ako na itong show sa YouTube called Straight Guy K-Drama Reviews wherein um, nire-recommend ko, oh, eto, kaya, kaya mo to kasi hindi sobra, <laughs> hindi over-over yung romantic. Uh, eto, kaya mo to kasi maraming action, ganyan. So, <laughs> so, if you watch the show, yung K-drama reviews, Straight Guy K-Drama Reviews, yeah. May, may parang ranking system ako, ano, yung novice, advanced, expert viewing. So, para malaman mo how much yung action and how much yung romantic na, na drama. Kung baga, yeah. sasabihin ko na, kakayanin mo to kahit, kahit mahilig ka lang sa action, oh. kakayanin mo tong k-drama nito. So, doon na nagsimula yung parang mas naging regular ako mag-post sa YouTube. Na both the cooking videos and the k-drama videos. Okay. Ang ganda din kasi parang sa YouTube kasi uh, it gives you the oper- a lot of opportunities talaga in life. Diba? Parang katulad ng sinabi ni Ish, di ba? Sana sasabihin ko Lloyd. Diba? Nag-start na mag-post ng audition video for for uh, a contest. Tapos right now, di ba? Ang dami ng contents not just with with you know how to cook a food pero uh, na, kung baga na-explore na din niya yung other side which is the K-drama. So I guess uh, with, with your, your um viewers, di ba? Parang marami silang variations with, with your YouTube channel. And I think it's a good ano, opportunity din na, alam mo, makater, hindi lang yung, yung side ng audience ng mahilig sa food, but as, but as well as sa, sa K-drama. Kasi di ba, very, very famous na talaga ngayon ng K-drama. Kasi parang kahit dito sa amin, K-drama na din talaga yung parang go-to nila na panoon. But since uh, we talk about na rin, Chef, yung sa, sa inspiration mo, kasi uh, when, when we read your uh, parang credentials na, na, na mentioned doon na you, ha, you have written a lot of books na din so with regards to, to those books that you have written sino naman po yung nakapag-inspire sa inyo na, na gumawa ng mga ganun 
So currently, um, I have two books uh, still available uh, in the market. Yung una ko kasing cookbook nag sold out na and uh, wow, congrats. Uh, so kung makahanap kayo ng copy, kunin niyo na kasi last few na yun. No? Um, <laughs> yung dalawa naman na uh, mas recent. Uh, so it's so you want to be a chef. And then the other one is uh, the gospel of food. So yung dalawang libro na yon parang uh, parang ang joke ko nga is parang Marvel yan, no? Medyo connected pero medyo hindi, di ba? Yung dalawang yeah. books. So yung yung first book is like uh, a manual, no, for people na pinag-iisipan maging chef pero um, hindi pa sigurado. Um, kasi marami akong questions na nakukuha from you know, from social media or when I go outside, uh, mga parents talking to me about um, yung mga kids nila gusto maging chef, uh, saan ba dapat mag-aral, and uh, saan ba dapat mag- mag- mag-practice, ganyan. And uh, ang reality is, sobrang mahal ng culinary schools, no? Yeah, um, I mean, most of the time, sulit naman yung tuition. Pero kahit na sulit siya, mahal pa rin siya. And, uh, Marami akong nakasabayan and uh, marami akong narinig ng mga stories na nag-culinary school sila. Pagkatapos, pag-graduate, ayaw naman nila maging chef. So parang sobrang sayang nung, nung, nung tuition. So, so naisip ko, sige, let's write a book na, you know, talking about yung journey ko from this little kid na nanonood ng show hanggang sa umabot sa point na nag-host na ako ng cooking show and uh, in between yung life ko as a chef in between. Um, para makwento ko yung okay, ito yung mga hindi mo nakikita sa TV na nangyayari sa, sa pagiging chef. So that's my first book. Um, yung second book naman, yung Gospel of Food, puro mga kwento ko, mga travels ko as a chef, as a, as a host. Nakakausap ko yung mga ibang chefs, yung mga ibang nagluluto from other countries, from other provinces. Uh, dahil may mga lessons din doon no, on how to become a better uh, chef or a better cook. So parang connected siya. Yung una, kung gusto mo muna maging chef or kung gusto mong magluto lang sa bahay. Yung pangalawa is how to improve as a, as a chef no, or as a cook. So uh, for me, yung inspiration don really is just um, karamihan kasi ng local books natin. Puro recipe books. No? And uh, yung my books naman, may recipes din naman siya. But uh, I also want to tackle yung, 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 yung other side of it. No? Kasi Yung nga, mahirap, mahirap yung trabaho. Uh, maganda siya tignan sa TV uh, kasi parang nagluluto ka lang sa bahay, nakakapagkwento ka pa, walang stress. Pero actually, hindi totoo yun. No? Pag nagtatrabaho ka sa totoong restaurant, patayan talaga yun. So, I wanted a reference na para lang may, may mapuntahan yung mga tao in case hindi sila sigurado kung, uh, kung para sa kanila talaga tong, tong work na to. Pero uh, Chef Curious lang din po, uh, for our dear listeners, saan po sila pwede mag-avail nung, nung book na uh, binagit niyo po kanina? In two books. Yeah, so uh, both So You Want to Be a Chef and uh, The Gospel of Food, they're both available in all national bookstores nationwide. And then kung ayaw nyo naman lumabas, pwedeng mag-order through Shopee or Lazada, may national bookstore store naman sila. And then you can also order from anvilpublishing.com. Um, i-deliver yan sa bahay nyo. Uh, and um, pag uh, e-book naman, available siya on all e-book platforms kung ayaw nyo na ng paper uh, to, to, if you want to save the environment. And uh, you can read through your phone. No? So, the download nyo lang yung Kindle app. Uh, and then, uh, you can buy sa Amazon. Um, and, uh, you know, you can read through your phone. No? Ako, that's uh, what I do. Unless sobrang gusto ko yung book. Or I, what I do is I read muna sa ebook. Pag maganda yung book, saka ako na bibilin yung physical copy for my collection. Yeah. So you can do that also. No? Bilin nyo muna yung ebook. Pag nagustuhan nyo yung libro ko, then you can buy the, the physical yeah. copy. Yes. So ayun, I guess uh, to our day listeners, Nako, ang dami niyong options ha pag hindi pa kayo nakabili. <laughs> ang dami niyong options. Yes. So, Magtatam po ako pag hindi kayo oh, nakabili. <laughs> so I guess right after this, uh, pan- mapanood niyo itong interview, di ba? Mabili na kayo kahit yung sa sa online man lang kung ayaw niyo lumabas, di ba? Oh, magsisale at ang Lazada Chappie. So, Nako. alam niyo na yes. where to go. And okay. usually, pag sale ng national, um, kasama yung mga books ko, usually mga 10% ata or... 
15% mga ganun. Wala so, abangan nyo yung, yung sale. I think, what's the next one? The 5-5 five, five sale? Yeah. Yeah. Opo, ata. Sa May. So, alam nyo na, guys. Lahat nang nakikinig. Shopee or Lazada <laughs> or Kindle. Yes. Ayun. With that po, Chef, we would like to ask yung experience po ng cooking for the Ambassador of Canada to the Philippines and celebrities po like Miss Julian San Jose. Um, well, yeah, it's always uh, uh, fun no, to, to be able to cook for people na, you know, um, you admire or people of uh, uh, certain positions. Um, yung um, with the Ambassador um, of Canada, it was uh, it was a great experience parang um, uh, through mutual friends kasi na-meet ko yung wife ng, uh, ng ambassador <clears throat> and uh, the she was also a trained chef so parang she was really interested in learning about Filipino food so parang <clears throat> tumawag siya sabi niya baka gusto mong pumunta sa residence official residence tapos um, magpapaparty siya and then oh, we'll wow. cook parang Filipino food na nakakombine with Canadian ingredients Canadian food so that was a really fun experience kasi parang um, pwede mong ilagay yung parang sa akin one of my favorite parts talaga ng pagluluto is to introduce Filipino food to foreigners kasi parang ang sarap ng food natin nakakainis na you know <laughs> hindi siya namimension no? buti na lang past two years lumakas na yung presence natin abroad no mas kilala na yung Filipino food so um, so the past what the, my work for the past 10 years has been to to reach this point no umabot sa point na yung mga foreigners pag sinabing Filipino food may idea na sila at least one or two dishes no kasi pumasok na sa consciousness nila so umabot tayo sa point na yun so that was really um, happy for me um, yung kay Julian, uh, ako, I've been a fan um, Same po. <laughs> of hers. Yeah, so for a really long time. Uh, uh, so parang it was very exciting na she agreed to join my show wow. um, sa GTV to. And then, uh, so nagluto ako for her and then I got to interview. So it was really, uh, I, I don't know kung halata sa kanya, uh, sobrang kinakabahan ako ng time na yun. Um, <laughs> But I'm really happy na super game siya kausap. Um, and um, parang sa, sa work kasi na yung sa pag interview and I'm sure you guys will, will, will get familiar with this as the years go on, no? as your show goes on. May mga guests na mahirap talaga pag sumagot isang tanong, isang, isang sagot lang. Sagot. And uh, sobrang regalo talaga yung meron kang guest na willing magkwento, no? And uh, so si Julian was one of those very generous with her answers, and uh, so masaya yung interview kung 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 yung tao mahilig mo kwa nito, di ba? Kasi um, makakahanap ka ng mga magagandang follow up question, um, and hindi puro mga yung mga response na alam mo yon na babasa mo naman lagi sa jario na para pareho yung response, di ba? Julian she was very honest, very forthcoming so it's, it remains uh, one of my favorite um, interviews no? wow wow po Grabe so kasi, kung ako din po may yeah. starstruck po ako na lalo na kung idol mo diba mm-hmm. like who would have thought na magkakamaroon ka ng opportunity na na ma-interview and uh, chef na curious lang din po ako since you mentioned na din na part ng mga niluto mo dun sa ambassador sa, sa Canada is the Filipino food so, ano po kaya yung mga Filipino food na, na, na iluto niyo po sa kanila? Uh, well, we did um, marami na uh, kinilaw, um, mga ako ng pares. Wow, um, pares. <laughs> and then, um, bring eh. Uh, iba-iba, no? So, just trying to show them different um, dishes, no? Kasi, um, yung dating perception sa Filipino food is nako puro brown lahat tas puro, puro <laughs> pork lahat puro mantika lahat which is unfair no uh, yeah. ang dami nating makukulay na dishes we have yeah. a lot of seafood dishes um, so parang yun lang sinigurado ko lang na 
may variety. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. Di bang na po yung ano? Color brown lang. Di, no. Ako, oh, Grabe naman sobra. kasi, puro bang? brown. <laughs> Mayroon bang tinola na brown? Wala naman tinola na brown. Eh. <laughs> oh, debunk na. Oh, thanks yes. to Chef Sharwin. Well, not just me, but uh, yeah, that, mo, a lot of uh, Filipino chefs, lalo na yung those abroad, yun yung talagang mission nila. No? Na ipakita na yung Filipino food, hindi lang yan, hindi lang yan puro pork. Hindi okay. lang yan puro brown. Uh, maraming maraming ways to to interpret Filipino. Yes. So now that we already got to know you deeper, Chef Sharwin, now we will um, be talking about the masa Korean cuisine in the Philippines. Because po in our podcast, uh, part of the goal po talaga is to highlight din yung mga you know the food, the culture, and and other sides ng ng Korea since. Um, some of the listeners did because here, here in our podcast are very invested to that. And so, Justin, I would like to ask, uh, from the perspective po of a chef, what are those Korean cuisine that is popular now in the in the Philippines? Um, actually, marami na, no? Uh, kagaya ng na-mention yung kanina, parang automatic yung samgyup sa atin, no? I think it's a concept that just works for us no uh, mahilig tayo sa ganun sa sulit sa anli so kung sino man yung unang nakaisip nung anli sa amgyo uh, genius yun no uh, sobrang sakto sa atin yun eh. but uh, but the past few years uh, medyo nauso na rin yung uh, yung Korean food so naiintindihan na natin na hindi lang puro samgyo or Korean barbecue yeah. yung Korea no so I think uh, among the Philippines, uso yung chapche, which is a glass noodle dish. And then yung sundubuchige, yung um, tofu stew. Um, oh. I think parang medyo, medyo nag-gets na ng Pinoy. No? Uh, and then uh, yung uh, banchan, of course, yung mga iba-iba, no? yung kimchi. Uh, kagaya nga nung na-mention nyo kanina, uh, uh, Jasmine, yung parang meron may hesitation dati na to bring him nung, nung kimchi but sure. now na it's available everywhere <laughs> syempre kailangan mo na tumikim eh, kasi nandiyan eh di ba so yeah. and, and then realize ng pinoy na ah, masarap naman siya so <laughs> so yun so i think um medyo nagsisimula na tayong mag-open up but syempre yung korean barbecue pa rin yung 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 number one sa atin no? so from beef bulgogi to to samgyeopsal lahat ng korean barbecue yun pa rin yung 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 number one uh, yeah. sa atin kasi po dito dito sa amin nga uh, diba nagka-mayor ng pandemic then nung medyo nag-ease na yung you know, the protocols grabe as in parang bawat kanto namin may samgyeopsal <laughs> na alam mo iba-iba lang yung pangalan so sabi ko grabe talaga yung impact ng ng sanggip sa, sa sa mga Pilipino kasi very uh, very in siya pero uh, chef since you mentioned pala so in Korea ang sanggip sa is not only talaga yes oh okay uh, and uh, usually yung sanggip sa nila mas makapal no uh, oh. yung yung sa atin manipis kasi siguro dahil only manipis sa nila pa <laughs> medyo mahal na pag ano <laughs> but uh, sa kanila makapal siya and uh, It's really it it really started more as a drinking yeah, all... uh, dish no? so so parang yung sisig natin no nung nagsimula yung sisig ganyan din yan eh uh, mm. drinking dish lang yan eh pampulutan yan eh. um and then you know siguro may nakaisip na masarap siguro kung may kanin to no ganyan wow. tapos doon doon nagsimula eh ganun din yung samgyeopsal sa natin no nung nung naging anli siya siguro may naisip may nakaisip na kung anli naman siya edi eh, ikanin na natin to di ba so so <laughs> naging ganun siya sa atin no? so um so i think it would be strange for Koreans who live in Korea to come here and realize na may anli samgyup dito oh, although <laughs> uh, it was revealed to me na yung nagcreate ng mga anli samgyup dito are Koreans also so okay. i think sila yung nakakita ng potential na hindi mahilig yung pinoy sa Unlit sa kasakanin, so ituloy na natin tong concept nito. But uh, I doubt mahakita ka ng ganon sa Korea. And with that, po, uh, Chef, uh, yung as gusto po namin malaman yung sa perspective niyo po, bakit po kaya ang mainstream po ng Korean cuisine dito sa country natin? From your ano po uh, 
perspective? So, uh, a lot of people would say na kaya nauso yung Korean food dito is because of K-pop at saka K-drama. Uh, which is true, probably. Pero sa akin, hindi tatagal ng ganito katagal yung kasikatan niya kung yun lang yung reason. No? If, kasi parang... Uh, Marami naman tayong ibang napapanood like mga Japanese shows or uh, you know yung mga American shows na na, na crave worthy din yung food and and for a time mauuso siya dito um, and then mawawala so the fact na tumagal yung Korean food dito uh, shows to me na hindi lang siya dahil sa K-drama or or sa K-pop no um and ang reason is yung similarity, you know. Um, this is something that I wrote about na before, na parang Korean food and Filipino food are more similar than people realize. So, parang para sa atin, it's very foreign because, uh, you know, maanghang yung Korean food. But if you go beyond the anghang, everything else is, is, is very, very similar. So, um, sabi natin na i-replace mo yung anghang with gata. Oh. So yung 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 kochuchang with gata. Parang all of a sudden ang dami ng pareho, no? Uh, and then if you look at their dishes, maraming similar din. So for example, meron silang dish yung uh beksuk or yung samgyetang, no? So yung parang ginseng chicken soup. Uh, ang pag tinanggal mo yung ginseng, ang only other ingredient dun sa sabaw na yan is ginger. So, it's a ginger chicken soup. Which is tinola. Essentially. Oh. Di ba? So, parehong-pareho lang siya. So, even yung yung samgyup, right? Ano ba yung samgyup? Inihaw na liempo. Right? Nag- meron lang tayong marinade. Sila, may sauce. Kasi matabang ang samgyup sa le. Kasi ididip mo siya sa sesame oil o kaya ididip mo siya sa Uh, sa kochuchang or sa uh, samjang and then i- i- ibabalot mo sa gulay na may kanin right tayo may kanin sa yung inihaw na liempo na marinated na so wala na tayong sauce or kung meron man suka lang um, and then yung mga yung mga um, for example yung uh, beef rib stew nila yung kalbi jim Okay, parang pag tinikman mo yung lasa, parang beef paris natin. Um, so, it's very, very similar in terms of yung dishes, no? Now, if you go deeper pa, ma- marirealize mo, it's even more similar than you think. So, for example, ang Korea, hindi rin ganun karami yung herbs nila, no? Meron sila yung mga shiso leaf, yung uh, perilla leaf, mga ganun. But konti lang, eh. Tayo, meron din tayong ganun, yung mga dahon ng... Uh, sampalok, uh, malunggay. Meron din tayo nilalagay, pero konti lang. And it barely affects the taste of the dish. No? Hindi kagaya ng mga western or Thai cuisine na you know, ang daming mint, basil, and, and thyme, and ano, rosemary. Hindi tayo ganun. Eh. And yung Korea, hindi rin sila mahilig sa ganong herbs. Instead, yung flavor natin ang gagaling sa mga fermented items. So sa atin, meron tayong bagoong, buro, achara. Uh, sa kanila, uh, kimchi. Uh, you know, uh, and meron din silang bagoong. No? So, uh, I don't know the term, pero meron silang salted na uh, shrimp and meron din silang salted fish. Uh, ganun din tayo. Meron tayong bagoong, meron tayong uh, yung balayan bagoong, di ba? Yung gawa sa isda. Meron din tayong bagoong na alamang. Uh, tapos sa uh, yung pareho tayong gumagamit ng patis, pareho tayong mar- uh, nag-harvest ng and nagda-dry ng isda no from daing to dilis, meron din silang ganoon no. Uh, yun yung nagfa-flavor ng mga sabaw ng ng Koreans. And then even yung pagkain ng seaweed, meron din sila. Uh, so even yung yung sensibilities ng cuisine is is, is the same. So, syempre, kung ganun yun, kung ganun ka-similar yung food natin, kahit hindi mo na-realize, pag kumakain ka, parang familiar na siya sa'yo eh. So, that's why feeling ko, meron tayo nitong, um, I guess you would call it parang affinity, no? Yung parang matikman mo lang a few times, ma-realize mo na, 
wala parang familiar naman to and then once in a while you you crave for it you know you 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 want it and it's because it's familiar it's because it's parang it's it's essentially Filipino food na mas maanghang yun ng konte even yung 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 like yung Korean fried chicken for example de ba yung ang favorite flavor nila tamis anghang tayo rin eh yun ang gusto natin eh tamis anghang eh um, so even yung 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 flavor profile is the same Uh, yun lang ang nakikita ko lang na main difference is mas maanghang sila kumain and tayo naglalagay tayo ng gata so parang if you that cancels each other out everything else is pretty much the same wow wow oh, ako no <laughs> ano ako doon <laughs> na-enlighten ako kasi parang sa perspective ko parang very ang laki ng difference pero nung nung naano nyo na po siya like yung naisa-isa nyo na doon ko lang naintindihan na oh ano, parang same lang din naman, parang siguro nadadala lang tayo dun sa mga like yung very unusual na parang concept kung paano nila niluto yung pagkain. Kaya feeling ko, sa, sa POV naman ng mga Filipinos, parang bago sa kanila yung mga ganun. Pero ang galing, oo oh, nga, no, the same lang din naman pala. Yeah, parang it's not as, um, actually we can even go deeper, no? like historical. <laughs> <laughs> yung historical niyan may may connection din yan no because we both draw from a lot of chinese uh, influence sa food natin um na conquer din sila ng japan kagaya natin um and may us base din sila kagaya natin so parang marami talagang uh, cultural aspects no na pareho um and i think that's also why yung k drama works for us eh yung um, yung mga storyline nila lalo na yung mga historical sobrang similar sa atin so i really believe na we're essentially cousins right yung yung yung, cousins. yung so so the food is so familiar na after a while parang ang bilis lang nung nung pag-assimilate natin kumbaga once na natin a few times parang alam na natin sanay na tayo sa lasa Um, and we start craving for it. Super ano ko? Grabe, ubo. Kasi ano, <laughs> ano we don't think na, ay, magkaiba yan. Kasi Korean, gano'n yung Korea. Ganun lang tayo. Kaya eh. siya ibang bansa, di ba? Oo, iba bansa. Pero now na sinabi ni Chef, o oh, ano, inihaw na liempo, samgipsal. Samgipsal. <laughs> <laughs> Mas pwede nga lang. <laughs> the mind blown din kasi talaga ako kaya parang medyo nang mental block ako kasi nung nung sinabi na ni Chef, ngayon ko na din na-realize. Yun, yun lang din naman pala yun. Pero uh, Chef, in the in the span of uh, 10 years right po na, na parang cooking. Uh, ah well, actually uh, or more than mga 15, 16 years na ako wow. next year. <laughs> Grabe. Mental <laughs> na. Pero yan, uh, in the span of 16 years po na as a chef How different is the experience of cooking Korean and Filipino cuisine po sa inyo? Um, it's actually very similar in the sense na very home-based din yung Koreans. No? Um, yung, uh, yung parang strength ng cuisine nila was born from their mothers and their grandmothers and their aunties. And uh, ganun din tayo. No? So when uh, I started cooking some Korean food on my YouTube channel, ganun din. Na parang Many realize mo na very home very homey yung food nila so parang it's not super sarap talaga it will take years to master no pero if you just want to make your own version at home hindi siya ganoon kahirap so kung kaya mo magadobo kaya mo rin magsundobo chige parang it's not um it's not that hard Uh, to make your own version at home. Siyempre, mahirap yung talagang super sarap because you need years to train for that. Just like with Filipino food, you know, madali gumawa ng adobo, pero yung gumawa ng super sarap na adobo, it will take you uh, years to to master. No? So, it's the same. It's very uh, homey. It's very, um, kumbaga, it, it, hindi siya complicated. No? I wouldn't say easy, pero simple siya. Kumbaga, yung yung paggawa ng dishes uh, like karamihan ng mga soups nila halo-halo lang gaya natin um, so it's fun to do it's fun to do Korean food kasi parang it reminds us so much of our own food um, but then may kakaiba ng konti flavor so it's it's almost like uh, 
you're trying on a new version of a Filipino dish. No? So, hindi na nakaka-surprise if in the future may gagawa na ng mga Korean-Filipino fusion. Oh, um, kasi it's not that wow. far away naman to begin with. Eh. So, hindi naman malayo yung, yung possibility na magka-Korean-Filipino uh, na fusion restaurant. That would be amazing. Ano, imagine nga, if nag-combine, grabe. I can't wait to try din siya. For you po, ano, chef, meron po bang like dish na ginawa nyo na, yung same po ay Lloyd, kung kay Lloyd po, kimchi fried rice, ano po yung sa inyo? <laughs> But you're super proud po kayo. Um, I think hindi yung, well, it's partly the dish, but Uh, siguro one of my prouder moments was uh, recently no um, yung uh, Korean Cultural Center uh, of the Philippines oh, they wow. they uh, they called me to do a kasi they were going to launch their new building so it was a big online celebration so they had um, they had like acts no like um, SB19 performed um, I think si uh, gosh So, uh, nakalimutan ko na, no? but uh, big big K-pop stars came to perform also. Uh, and uh, one of the things that they asked me to do was to cook, do a cooking demo, no? yung Jan Chiguksu, which is yung uh, banquet noodles. So, if you're familiar, yun yung niluto ni, ano, um, sa crash landing on you, yun yung niluto ni ni Hyun Bin para kay Sonia Jin. No? So, nung nasa North Korea sila, may nil- nagluto siya ng noodles on her on her first uh, day in North Korea. Or if you watch yung Uncanny Counter, yun yung binibenta nila sa sa K-drama, yung, yung banquet noodles. So, they asked me to make a cooking demo on banquet noodles. So, yun pa lang, the, just the, the the honor, no they asked the Filipino to to cook a Korean dish for a Korean celebration is parang super uh, super humbling for me kasi parang essentially nag-start lang naman ako magluto ng Korean food for the channel parang dahil nga na na, na addict tayo sa K-drama eh napansin mo sa K-drama ang daming pagkain so every time I review a K-drama I include a section na pinag-uusapan yung food na, na lumalabas doon and then kung kaya ko siyang gawin sa bahay gagawin ko yung yung video um And so nung ginawa ko yon after we shot the the Janchi Guksu yung uh, PR manager ng cultural center was there sabi ko sa kanya um, she's Korean no sabi ko sa kanya tikman mo naman yung gawa ko kasi hindi ko alam kung ano talaga yung lasa niya right na imagine natin kung ano siya you can follow a recipe pero in the end you have to guess a little bit kasi hindi ko pa siya na-try sa Korea so So yun, tinikman niya and sabi niya sa akin, exacto, this is what we have uh, in Korea. No? Ito, yung, wow. ito yung lasa. So parang sa akin, that was one of my proudest moments. Kasi parang, imagine mo a foreigner will cook you adobo, di ba? And then pag tinikman mo, kalasa mo yung, kalas, lasa talaga yung local adobo niyo. Di ba? That experience is, is super fun. So for me yun, I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, experience, no? Unless binobola lang niya ako yun, hindi siya masarap. <laughs> But feeling ko naman, totoo Paano kasi, naman more than Paano one, naman? ano oh. naman siya eh, more than one subo naman siya. So, feeling Ay, ko totoo naman. <laughs> Karami naman pala yung subo. <laughs> At saka, I guess, ano, di ba, parang sa, sa perspective ng chef, I guess, ang pinakamahirap talaga hulihin is yung tamang lasa. Di ba, parang, yun nga po yung sinabi nyo, kung, kung, kung may magluto sa atin ng adobo, tapos from other countries, di ba, kung hindi naman siya like yung super kalasa, di ba? Parang yun yung mahirap pulihin. So, I guess, yes. yun yung, kung baka sa inyo, chef, nagawa niyo talaga siya ng, ano, you, you did a great job talaga sa pagluto ng Korean food na yun. Yun nga, sabi niyo na nakarami naman ng subo. So, I guess, pasa. Di ba? Pasado, pasado. Sana, sana. Pasado. Yung, pa, yung pala, no, pinag-uusapan ako, bakit ang pangit ng gawa niyo? Sinawa po. But, uh, yeah, we, well, Uh, that's part of the work no um with being a chef compared to cooking at home right kasi yeah. when you cook at home alam mo yung panlasa ng mga pinaglulutuan mo yeah. um but as a chef it's the dining public so you have to create a 
you have to create a flavor na most people will like. Not everyone will like it, but you have to create something na at least man lang karamihan magugustuhan. Yeah, so, that's true. So, so it's always kinakabahan ka pa rin every time because you don't know kung huli mo yung panlasa ng tao or not. So, that's part of the job. Of what makes our job uh, difficult but also fun. Oh, di ba? Nagutom tayo sa mga pinag-usapan natin. <laughs> di ba? Kasi grabe, ang dami na natin na natakil at just about uh, the Korean cuisine but also ours, di ba, sa the Filipino. So, before pa tayo maglaway dito sa, sa podcast, uh, <laughs> Chef, we prepared a little game for you. Don't worry, this is just a fun game. And so, Jess will be explaining the mechanics to you. Basically, ano po siya? Uh, fast talk game. So, may 10 questions po kami ni Lloyd. And ang gagawin niyo lang po is Simply answer the question as fast as you can. Yung first thing po sa mind nyo. Yeah. Yun lang po. Sige. So, ready na po oh, ba kayo? Ready na ba kayo, Chef? <laughs> okay, sounds fun. Sounds fun. Yes. So, since kanina na mentioned nyo na uh, you are a fan of K-drama, so our first question will be, favorite K-drama actor? Sonia Jean. Favorite K-drama OST? Ooh, uh... Ooh. I don't, I don't know the title kasi Korean <laughs> siya eh. Um, but the song was... Um, galing sa weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Joo. So there's a song there na it's all in Korean. So pati title Korean, di ko mapronounce. Yeah, but, it's uh, okay, yeah, but it's a uh, it's 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 my favorite. How about favorite Korean food? Ah, uh, ooh, yeah, rap. Dami, I guess for now, for now, it would be sundubo chige. How about soft tofu too? Yeah. Uh, How about in Filipino? What's your favorite uh, Filipino food? Uh, sinuglaw. Oh, uh, ano ano po yun? Uh, it's a combination ng bale. It's kinilaw na isda and then may mm. nakapatong na inihaw na baboy sa taas. Wow. Yeah. It's oh, a no. it's a super strange dish, but it's my favorite. Wow. Okay, that's un- noted po yun. Uh, your favorite chef? Uh, well, live. Uh, kung uh, yung mauna kasi siya, no? si Anthony Bourdain is my uh, hero. Uh, how about a food you would cook for your favorite K-drama actor? Ooh. 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 <laughs> Kaya. <laughs> ang, ang hirap na na. Um, although okay. matagal ko nang wish yun na mapaglutuan si Sonia Jean. Um, mm. I guess dapat Filipino, no? Kasi ah, kalahin mo naman paglutuan ko siya ng Korean. <laughs> ah, sige pa. Favorite Filipino food na lang na ay luluto niyo sa kanya. Uh, siguro um, knowing her uh, siguro sinigang na lang wow. para para mapakita so, natin yung flavor talaga natin no? yung maasim, maasim. na light yeah. soup di ba? kasi feeling ko laging nagda-diet yun so manumang di ba? <laughs> <laughs> How about um, uh, food you would cook for your followers subscribers? Uh, sa akin it's all, it always depends on what they like so, oh, uh, kung anong kung, kung anong uso, <laughs> di ba? Kung anong uso yeah. uh, para masaya mga tao. But I guess it would be fun to um, hindi ko pa nagagawa ngayon yung Geran Gym. So, it's a parang a Korean steamed egg. Yun yung next video sana na gusto kong gawin. Medyo na busy lang ako. So, uh, siguro in the coming weeks baka yun ang iluto ko next. Sige po. We will stay tuned for that. How about your least favorite food to cook? Ano kaya yung parang hindi nyo trip? Na, uh, na hindi uh, well hindi ako mahilig sa desserts no kasi wala ako nung pasensya so anything na baking lalo na yung mga yung mga may yeast uh, hindi ako mahilig uh, I mean I'll do it if I have to pero anything na may yeast hindi ako hindi ako happy <laughs> <laughs> kasi parang iba din po ata ang like yung sa side ng, ng bake di ba Mm. Kung, kung Patience. Uh, Patience. Uh, Patience. Patience. Sa measurements. Um, oh, ako kasi math. kung nagluluto, halo-halo lang. <laughs> so, <Yung> math. <laughs> oo, may math eh. Tapos uh, paghihintay ka pa na umanga at and then... Yeah, oo. Oh, well, well, madaming, well, madaming process at saka matagal din siya. Mm. How about your least favorite ingredient to use? Ano po yung talagang... Ano I guess yun nga, uh, yeast would be one ah, of them. Yeah. Um, also blood, no? Uh, I like mm. eating blood sausage, uh, mga ganon. Pero yung ikaw na yung gumagana. Ang hirap, ang hirap kasi manage. So yeah. pag hindi maganda yung pag-manage mo, nagiging 
uh, sandy yung texture no nung blood pag na overcook mo siya. Kaya Ay. pag hindi maganda yung dinuguan, 'di ba? Parang may hmm. chunky chunky siya na yung may buo buo na. Oo, so, nagbubuo. Yeah. So mahirap okay. siya i-handle. And for our last question is um your best dish of all time. <laughs> Parang you're asking me to choose sa mga ano yun, sa mga kids ko kasi yung mga dish ko puro mga kids ko yan. But uh, I guess yung yung uh, signature dish ko before yung pork panalo. Uh, so it's a pork tenderloin na may uh, langonisa sa naka-stuff sa loob and then nakabalot siya in bacon. Wow. Um, so when people hear it kasi they're like grabe heart attack yan chef sobrang daming baboy hindi ba hindi ba yan overwhelming tapos pag tinikman na nila parang hindi naman parang sakto lang parang so, isa pa isa pa parang hindi naka isa di ba kasi okay. ano naman eh nababalance naman siya so ayun lang naman po chef very easy very fun and very literal na fast talk lang naman, di ba so ayun po thank you for participating sa sa aming so, short mini game We are down to the last set of questions po. Chef, we want to ask you, uh, one is, what is the most fulfilling part po of being a chef? I think, uh, realize when you realize that you can change um, people's uh, night. No? I wouldn't say lives naman, no, medyo exage naman yung lives. Pero yung, um, if you have, if you've ever been on a date, for example, tapos hindi masarap yung pagkain, yung buong date mo si Rane. Like not I, I've seen people actually no nag-away sila dahil hindi masarap yung food. No, yung boyfriend girlfriend nag-away sila kasi hindi masarap yung food tapos means yung parang ay bakit mo kasi ako dinela dito, yung mga ganoon, 'di ba? So ganoon yung 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 power ng food kasi iba rin eh. And and pag masarap naman yung food, parang yung buong gabi mo masaya na. Um, it happens, no? It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens. So as a chef, parang meron ka nung responsibility na yun. And pag nakita mo yung tao na tumikim sila ng dish mo, tapos yung mukha nila parang ang laki ng ngiti, and nakita mo na you change their mood, yun ang feeling ko the most fulfilling part of, of being a chef. I think that I would agree po. <laughs> Grabe naman po yung, bakit mo din nila dito? Doon <laughs> <laughs> pa talaga sila nag-away. <laughs> Marami kang makikitang weird pag nagtrabaho ka sa restaurant. Um, Grabe nga. <laughs> Nakagulat oh, po yun. Oh, yeah. Kaya parang paano mo sila i-ano? Kaya po, kalma lang. <laughs> <laughs> paano mo sila papakalma yun? Siguro true food, di ba? Yes. Pa- padala, mo ng, padala mo ng masarap na dessert para magbago yung isip. Para, di ba? Mag-pull down <laughs> muna sila before sila mag... <laughs> Anyways, uh, Chef, uh, we have reached the last question for this podcast. So, um, what what would you like to say to our dear listeners of this podcast who would like to be a chef someday? Uh, for me, ang favorite piece of advice ko lagi is yung to taste everything. No? So, double meaning yun. Uh, pag nagluluto kayo, taste everything. Um, don't just follow a recipe. Uh, every step of the way, tikman mo. No? Kasi nag-iiba yung lasa ng ingredients natin depending on the weather, depending on your location. Um, so, taste everything. And then, ang second meaning naman ng taste everything is kung saan ka man pumunta, kung may pinakain sa'yo, taste it. Whether mukhang kadiri siya or mukhang matumi siya. Alam mo yun, basta pag binigay siya sa'yo ng tao, tikman mo. Because, number one, it's a sign of respect na pinaghirapan nila yan, gusto nila ipatikim sa'yo. But also, yung knowledge mo, no? the daming knowledge mo. Whether gusto mo or not, eh, pag natikman mo, dagdag na yan na knowledge na ah, ayaw ko to or Ah, gusto ko to. So it builds on your knowledge. So yun, that's my favorite piece of advice. Taste everything. So ayun, 'di ba? To our um, listeners right now, taste everything. Nako, dapat yeah, plan yan if you want to be a chef someday. Uh since uh we have reached the last part of our podcast, uh chef, is there anything you would like to promote on our show? Well, um invite ko lang uh, lahat ng listeners no, uh, lalo na yung mga mahilig sa Korean food, Korean culture to catch my uh, show on uh, YouTube yung Straight Guy K Drama Reviews. Um, and also my cooking videos, I'll be cooking some K-drama food, uh, K-drama inspired food also, so watch out for that. And uh, of course, make sure to get a copy of my books, uh, So You Want to Be a Chef and The Gospel of Food. Yun lang. Uh, yun, to our dear listeners, alam nyo na, Shopee, Lazada, and subscribe po yeah. sa channel ni... Get yours now. Uh, diba? oh, and, <laughs> get yours now. And uh, then subscribe sa channel po ni 
Chef Charwin, um, I would just like to add po what I have picked up from this episode. Uh, I learned po na things take time. Yung profession, any profession po yan, uh, whether it be a teacher, ayan po, as a chef, in, they continuously learn things. Hindi yung pag halimbawa, natutunan mo na yung isang bagay, that's it. No, it doesn't stop there. Uh, you will meet more people. You, yun nga sabi ni chef na taste everything, yung knowledge mo dadami. So I guess learning uh, continues po siya. Hindi siya hanggang dun lang. For anyone naman po siguro yun. So that's what I have picked up from this episode po. Ako naman, Ja. Siguro, uh, ibibase ko yung answer ko din sa sinabi ni Chef. Your profession kasi is a chef. Parang naano siya ng mga tao na, pa, na hindi siya serious na, na trabaho. Kasi di ba here in the Philippines, ang ang mga hinahanga, hindi ko naman gina-generalize sa Pero based on my experience, oy, kapag engineering ka, mga gano, yung mga ganong level, or doctor ka, parang ang, ang laki ng respect nila sa iyo. Pero if you choose a job na hindi pasok sa standards nila or parang ang tingin nila is yung job naman is very low kailangan ganun or hindi naman siya very I ano mean, something hindi nila tinitake seriously syempre sa part natin kasi even po kami chef like communication students ako personally parang naka-experience din ako na alam mo ma-discriminate din na parang oh bakit yes. communication lang kinuha mo dapat dapat nag-doctor ka na dapat nag-engineering yes, yes. ka na di ba parang sa akin Basta ka mabapiliin yung, yung something that makes you happy. So, in short, di ba, through this podcast, I hope na our dear listeners will realize na, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter kung ano yung sasabihin ng iba. Kasi, di ba, for as long as you, you do, you do you, or you, parang you choose what makes you happy, then go for it lang. Kasi, at the end of the day, ikaw at ikaw lang din naman ang magde-decide. And uh, if pipiliin mo something that doesn't make you happy, Parang, di ba, wala siyang sense or parang napipilitan ka lang. So, ayun, go for it and uh, follow what makes, follow your heart lang talaga and do what makes you happy. Yeah, I agree 101%. Medyo may pinaghugutan lang po ako sa oh, part I felt yun. yung ano ha, bakit hindi ka nag-doctor? <laughs> di ba, parang, ito kasi yung gusto ko eh, di ba? Yeah. Hindi naman doon na may measure kung gano'n ka magiging successful na tao sa trabaho na, 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 na gano'n, di ba? I felt so, yun that. na naman po yung aking hugot for today. <laughs> <laughs> Kung kaya pag-graduating, ano, saka pa ako nakapag-vent out. Ba't yun lang naman? <laughs> And once again po, uh, <laughs> Chef Charwin, on behalf of Pinoy Soul Radio, we would like to thank you once again for accepting our invitation to Anyong Kwento Mo Podcast po. Yes, uh, maraming salamat po, Chef, for spending your time with us. And it was really nice talking to you. And just learn more about um, your story, the Korean cuisine, the Filipino cuisine, and thank you then for being enlightened sa mga, you know, mga bagay na hindi naman talaga kami totally aware of. So, yun pa, maraming salamat po talaga for your time. Thank you for having me. Okay. Yes, this was fun. Yeah. And to po. our dear listeners who are tuned in today with us for this episode, thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Anyong Kwenta Mo with the one and only Chef Sharwin T. Yeah, so I guess now we have reached the closing part for today's podcast episode with, with Chef Sharwin T. As much as we want to extend this podcast, our time is up. Make sure to stay tuned with our next guest. Again, lagi kong sinasabi sa mga... Very special guests. <laughs> very special guests. And every ending ng episode, uh, they are free to guess kung sinong naka-invite for the next episode. So, yeah. Yes. And uh, as usual, just very, you know, alam mo yun, parang every week lagi akong excited to, to reveal our guests. And sana, di ba, ang ating listeners then are very excited to know then yung, yung mga upcoming episodes Natin. And also, make sure to catch the other shows on Pinoy Soul Radio like PS Pa Request with DJ Sam G every Monday and Pinoy Soul Top 20 that is live every Friday. So make sure to vote for your favorite K-pop songs by following the format posted on our Twitter account. It's at Pinoy Soul. And again, I will be taking this opportunity to um, plug na din yung account ko on Instagram. It's at Lloyd Bagus X. Jessica, ba, uh, may promote pa ba? Uh, yes, Pinoy Soul Radio app available on Google Play Store but don't worry sa mga naka-iPhone soon, hopefully on iOS. 
uh, like our Facebook page or visit our website. Both is pinoysoul.com to get the updates with our latest content. Also, replays of our podcast episodes will be available on our YouTube channel, Pinoy Soul, every Wednesday. So make sure su- to subscribe, uh, ring the bell, turn on notifications. <laughs> oh, alam nyo na yan. And yeah. of course, ako din, my Instagram, follow me at jazzk underscore d08. Just do yes. it now. Well, <laughs> well, I guess that's it for today, you know. This has been Lloyd. And I'm Jazz, and you're listening to Anyong Kwento Mo, where we will talk about lifestyle, music, culture in both Philippines and Korea. Tune in next week for another fun and exciting episode only here at Pinoy Soul Radio. Bye, Anyong. Bye-bye, Anyong. Bye-bye. You just listened to a Nyong Kwento Mo podcast with Lloyd and Jazz, where we talk about lifestyle, music, and culture in both the Philippines and Korea. Catch us again next time, only here on Pinoy Soul Radio.